Hey everybody, this is Gecko Games here, back with another video. Uh oh. Come back! Okay, first off, I lost the footage from my previous two videos I tried recording, so this is this is getting a bit repetitive for me. Uh, yeah, Dorito is kind of tired now, but still got lots of energy. Speaking of Dorito, this is Dorito, my, uh, my common leopard gecko. Um, so, uh, he's about, like, um, 11 months old now, and, um, he's being overly skittish. Okay, so, he's about 11 months old, um, very healthy leopard gecko. I don't feed him as much as you would normally. I feed him every, like, four to five days, be just because he is gaining a bit too much weight. So, uh, talking about weight, um, when your gecko is over five, like, five inches long, you're gonna want to start feeding it every other day, then to every three days, um, depending on your gecko's, like, tail width, because their tail is like a camel's hump so instead of a hump on their back they've got a super fatty tail that can actually it's actually not really a tail at all but it can it's a defense mechanism as well so it fall it they can actually detach it and so they can actually detach it and use it as a distraction for predators so it it'll like wiggle around kind of like a worm and the bird will focus on that and it can get away um and re and then regenerate its tail after a couple months so yeah that's a pretty cool feature that they have so um the next thing is habitat size so that's doritos enclosure over there um it's a 40 gallon um you you can with the baby gecko you should start off with like a 10 gallon um or like 20 gallon but um if they they can go straight into a big one if you want um but once they grow to like five inches they you're gonna want to actually have them have um you're gonna want to put them in what, a minimum of 25 gallon tank uh that's my recommendation for um old, for geckos that are like starting to grow very quickly because then they're gonna want to explore more and they're gonna want to have more territorial space also about cohabbing i mean you could put a male with a female but nothing else and two males will fight each other females might bully each other and it, it'll just be a huge mess also if you put a male and a female together though um they might actually they might actually um they'll probably wait um you know oh don't come don't go off the edge oh he's just clinging on oh he's having spasm oh no all right sorry about that um yeah dorito kind of um wanted to go off the edge so yeah uh okay come back here <laughs> i'm probably gonna put them back in this after i talk about this um yeah you're gonna th so um the people at the pet store will say they are nocturnal desert animals so they are not nocturnal they're actually crepuscular which means they um they sleep during the day and sleep during midnight but they're out during the dawn and dusk periods so that's probably the best time you should handle one come back here you um so yeah also they um the pet store the pet store employees will also say that it's a desert animal and you should add lots of sand but that's actually not true well they are desert animals but they actually live in very lush environments for a desert um so a desert doesn't mean loads of sand dunes everywhere. Antarctica is technically the world's largest desert, so it's just a barren a barren landscape with little to no foliage. 
but, um, where, uh, um, where leopard geckos live in the Afghani desert, they have lots and lots of plants, um, but they have maximum plants for, a, for it to qualify as a desert. So, um, you definitely need lot, you definitely need a few plants, definitely add a cactus or two in, inside your enclosure, obviously not real ones, but, um, you should also, if you want to, you can add succulents. I don't really know much about, um, at, about, uh, bioactive tanks. I just put in fake leaves. Um, but yeah, another thing is for their substrate, don't give them sand because they will eat it. Um, a good substitute for most substrates would be either, I would recommend Zoomed Eco Earth or Reptile Carpet. Don't use the sand one, because those have, like, little crumbly bits, um, that can be possibly harmful to geckos. Also, I've had a recent incident with tree oils. Yeah, um, Le Dorito almost got poisoned by tree oils when my dad put tr tree oil in his water for some reason. It, I think it was an accident, but, um, yeah, that it wasn't good. We had to quarantine him, gut the entire tank. It, it was not a fun time. It was also at, like, 9 in the after- and 9 in- 9 p.m. It, yeah, it was really late, and it was a- it was a horrible night. I got almost no sleep from that. So, yeah, you're gonna wanna make sure that your leopard gecko is, um, you're also gonna wanna make sure your leopard gecko isn't lethargic. Um, so it's actually, don't worry if it's like being super alert or like all of a sudden standing still because in your presence, cause that just means it's kind of scared of you. And it also means healthy responses if it's being alert and curious and not lethargic and lazy. So, um, I think I'm gonna put him back now because he's definitely getting a bit antsy. He pro he's probably getting a bit homesick, so I'll cut back to the video after he's in the tank. Oh, look. Okay, so Dorito's going back in now. Um, there's not much left we can do. Um, we can feed him, so yeah, let's do that. Okay, so I already fed him earlier for the um, earlier photo, sh photo shoot, but um, the footage got deleted, so I had to redo this video. Um, this video is definitely the best tick I've done so far, though, and I hope my phone doesn't die. So, he just... Oh, oh, okay. So we're gonna hope that there's actually crickets in here. Are there? Oh yeah, there are. Okay, there's a lot. You got make sure they all come out. It's super hard. Oh look, one came out. Oh, there we go. Okay, we've got a bunch that have come out. I don't think there's any left. Nope. All right, so sorry if the um, camera is a bit um, is a bit jittery and shaky because I'm I'm holding this with my left hand so I can do stuff with my dominant hand. Also, I'm recording this on a phone so the picture quality is also not that great. So same with the audio quality. Um, yeah, hopefully you guys don't like hear like rustling like this it's just um yeah it's my oh okay he just caught one okay never mind oh my god that's awesome you got one okay um my phone's getting a really low battery um i probably shouldn't ignore it so um to see if he can catch one more and if not well we're gonna have to um we're gonna have to cut back to my bed Good job! You're hunting the cricket. 
awesome. Whew. Okay, my phone didn't die and I get these quick.